Java's initial slogan was write once, run anywhere. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. <sighs> no, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people going. However, more than 20 years later, it looks like it is Java's ugly little sister who's gonna actually deliver on that promise. The JavaScript ecosystem is by far the most popular one these days. And, thanks to Dino, it's now possible to run web standard JavaScript on the front end, the back end, the edge, Jupyter notebooks, any virtual private servers, and more. If you are not familiar with it, Dino's goal is to simplify programming in as many environments as possible. Dino is a zero config, modern JavaScript runtime with native TypeScript support, all in one tooling, and web standards APIs. Programming with Dino is simple. You get to skip the setup and be productive immediately. With the new 1.41 release, we are taking things one step further, making it even easier to use and host Dino where you want. Ever since Dino 1.6, Dino Compile has allowed you to compile your project into a single binary executable, which is useful for distributing and executing binaries on all major platforms without needing to install Dino or dependencies, packaging assets inside executable for more portability, simplifying deployment, and achieving a faster startup time. Since then, we've continued to improve Dino Compile by adding support for web workers and dynamic imports, as well as NPM packages. With 1.41, we're happy to announce that this release brings a more lightweight build for Dino Compile binaries. This makes produced binaries up to 50% smaller. The compiled version of the standard Hello World app dropped from 116 to just 58 megabytes. While this is a good start, we have further plans to make the produced binaries even smaller in the future, as well as allowing you to compile a custom build of Dino with only the features you need. In addition, we're happy to announce official Linux ARM64 builds are finally available. You can find the official binaries in the releases section of the Dino GitHub. Note, this means that our official Dino Docker image also supports ARM64 as well. To check out all the updates in 1.41, visit the blog post link in the description. If you want to find out more about how Dino can help you in your next project, take a look at one of these videos next. See you in the next one.